Hello children, Deshiya Vidyashala Samiti Shimoga welcomes you to the second year POC Biology Practicals. Welcome to DVSPU Independent College. Get set to learn your practicals through video classes. I am Shruti Ram Swami. This is practical 13, study of homologous and analogous organs in plants and animals. Well children, your question in your lab exam, identify F and comment on it. See for this, uh, identifying the specimen or the photograph that has been placed there, you get one mark and then two comments which you are writing and for that there would be one mark that would be awarded. Don't limit your commenting only for two points there you'll have to write four, at least minimum four, and we'll select any two that we want. Ili avaglo ste, identify madvaga, correct ke identify madvik, idi carrot, idi ginger, and theli helangilla. Instead, what is it actually? It's an analogous organ. So what's this carrot? It's nothing but a modified root. What's ginger? It's a modified, uh, this thing, stem. And theli, you'll have to make a mention of it. Okay, so this was about the introduction to this particular, to this particular experiment, okay. Having learned how you'll have to attend to the question, so you'll have to know what is there in this particular practical. Next, the aim of this particular experiment, it is to study the homologous and analogous organs in plants as well as in animals. What's the principle lying behind this experiment? See, in plants and animals, there are several organs or parts which are similar in their functions or structures. Such organs happen to be the evidence for our evolution. See, so many similarities are there and slight differences are there from the simplest form to the complex form, the evolution occurs and man marks the climax of the evolution. See, so what are these homologous organs? The organs which are dissimilar in their structure, with same origin and anatomy, but different in their functions. They are called homologous organs. Look at the term. The term itself is indicating the very word homo, it says it is similar or same. Once again, have a look at this. See here, the organs are dissimilar in their structure, but they have the same common origin and anatomy, but functionally they differ. Now, coming on to the study of the organs of modification and what adaptations we find here. See the homologous organs in the plants. Some of the examples have been quoted for your studies in the lab. So here, tendrils of the vitus and thorns of coryza, they both originate from the terminal bud itself. They have the common origin, but functionally they differ. Functionally they differ. See, tendrils of the vitus, it may be for support, but here, the thorns of coryza, they have a different function to perform, wherein they provide the protection, okay? So both of them, they have the common origin from their axillary bud. Look children, this is the chart that we have in our laboratory. So this would be presented or placed in the position of F during your examination and you are supposed to comment on it. Next, homologous organs two as the example here. See, the organs of modification, it is tendril of balloon wine, which can also be called cardiospermum and bulbils of agave. The organ of adaptation, these are modifications of floral buds both the cases, they are modification of the floral buds. 
but the tendril of the balloon vine supports for climbing, but the bulbil of the agave, it helps in vegetative propagation. See, this is the picture. You can see the tendrils here and here it is the bulbil, the modified floral bud for the vegetative propagation. And well, I am acquainting you people with the chart that is available in our laboratory and which is supposed to be placed during the examination. Next, coming out of the analogous organs. The analogous organs in the plants, of course, they are similar with their function and appearance, but they differ in their structure and origin. The organs of modification here, the stem tendrils and the leaf tendrils. Children, functionally they are same, but they differ with their origin. The organs of adaptations, all tendrils of plants are analogous organs, and then tendrils of pea plant and tendrils of whitus, they help in contact and support for climbing. The tendrils of pea are modified leaf, and the tendrils of whitus, they are modified terminal buds. So originating, you can find the origin is differing, but they have the common function to perform. See here, this is a picture that has been captured. Are you able to see here? Tendrils of the P, modified leaf. Here, it's the terminal buds that have been modified into tendrils. But both of them, they have a common function. It's contact and support for climbing. Well, children, this is the chart that we show in the laboratory for you people while explaining. Anyhow, that also has been put onto the screen here. Next, analogous organs, example two. The organs of modification, they are thorns and spines. Sumaru pronunciationally vetyasigal nan keltini. Enanth helvittira, thorns anna jagadalli niyo thrones anth helvittira. Throne anth helidre adu simasna. Thorn anth helidre mullu. Okay, of course, the throne is always filled up with the thorns. That's a different story. Anyhow, organs of modification, it's thorn and spines. The organs of adaptations here. Thorns are the modified axillary or terminal buds. And spines, they are modified leaves. But both, they perform the same function. They are defensive. They are defensive. In pomegranate, they are the modified axillary buds which have become the thorns. In opuntia, the spines, they are the modified leaves. Of course, we also exemplify this while speaking something about the adaptation uh, regarding the water or rather hydric adaptation. So wherein the transpiration rate has to reduce, the leaves have been modified into thorns. See, this is the chart that we have in our lab. Well, children, next, analogous organs three. The organs of modification, they are underground stem and underground modified roots. Ginger, yam, and potato, they are modified stem. But carrot and radish are the modified roots. Both are modified for the storage of the food. Hence, they are analogous because their origin, they differ but functionally, both are same. See, ginger with rhizome and then the carrot with the conical root. Okay? Next, we shall know the analogous organs in animals. The analogous organs of modification here, organs for flight, the organs for adaptation, the wings of the birds, and the wings of the dragonfly. Both are similar in function. They help the organisms to exhibit the flight. But you know, they differ in their origin. The wings of the birds, they have the muscles as well as the bones. Whereas, the wings of the dragonfly, they are simply an extrusion of the skin. Okay? So that's why we say they are analogous. Look the explanation there. Wings of the dragonfly have no bones, whereas the wings of the birds, they are muscular and also have the bones. But both 
have a common function to perform that is exhibiting the flight. See, this is the photograph that we have in our lab. Well, children, analogous organ example two. So, organs of the mouth. Now here, organs of adaptation, the mandible of the cockroach and the mandible of the rabbit. The mandible of the cockroach, we call it to be functioning like that of a teeth, and the mandible, that's the lower jaw of the rabbit. Both of them, they are used for chopping the food and grinding it, but they differ in their origin. The mandible of the cockroach is chitinized. It is made up of chitin. What's a chitin? It's a carbohydrate, okay? And the mandible of the rabbit is bony, made up of the bones there. But common function, it is to cut and to grind the foot. And this is the chart that we have in the lab. Okay. Homologous organs in animals. Anyhow, we don't have any specimen, but still, let me... Uh, help you know how about this. It's the forelimbs of the vertebrates. See, wings of the birds, forelimbs of mammals or reptiles, they have same arrangement of the bones. But wings, they are used for flight. Forelimbs of the vertebrates, they are used for walking, jumping, as well as holding. Hence, they have common origin, but differ functionally. That's why we say, it is homologous organs. Just look at the bones here. The bone forelimb of the man, cow, horse, whale, as well as the bird. They all have the same common origin, made up of the same type of the bones, humerus, tibia, and then you just see here, all the bones, they are the same there. See here, the forelimb, it is radius, ulna, radius, ulna, and then on the upper side, it is humerus, okay? But they differ in their function. Yes, children, that was about homologous and analogous organs. Nature itself is beautiful, okay? When we just happen to compare the various organisms, see, during their journey of the embryonic development, we all share the same features, but slowly, we differ and we become complex. That's why I told you man marks the climax of the evolution. Thank you.